Maybe you know the late summer and early fall wildfires are out in full force. Here at WAY, we sure have, and we decided to talk with an expert about this exciting time. When you come to the New River Gorge, one of the things that's amazing about this neighborhood is this is one of the most naturally diverse areas for botany in the entire United States. And this time of year, that diversity is revealed through the many wildflowers popping up everywhere. You're seeing some pretty amazing flower colors when you go out right now. Yellows, whites, purples, dusty, dusty rose pinks, that kind of things. Lots of types of goldenrods and asters are out now. Really tall flowers like Joe Pye weed and ironweed. When we see these blasts of colors along the hillsides, it is easy to overlook the role these flowers play in bringing visitors to the area. It is migration time right now, so there are so many birds that are starting to move for the season as well as having year-round residents. And those wildflowers that are here, it's, they are attracting a lot of insects. Uh, so there's a lot of caterpillars. Those are often the, a major food source, energy source, for the, the birds that are coming through the area. Watch out though, it can be a slippery slope when you start to try to identify these things. If you want to go down that rabbit hole of figuring out who is who, um, you know, sometimes a good field guide or a good identification app can really help you, but some of those fall flowers can be a little confusing because there's so many types of, for example, goldenrod. But fear not. You certainly don't have to be an expert to enjoy wildflowers. That part comes easy. You're going to see this time of year, um, even if you're not diving down into um, minute species identification, stuff like that, um, it's, it is fun to look at just the, the beautiful tones of colors. Reporting from Lansing, Newswatch 4.